that she cheated on me and she confessed that she did cheat. She went on a trip and had sex with a guy she barely even knows after being with me for six years. Like I said, I was in a low point in my life. I thought about ending my life. I thought about quitting my job and just, I just shut down. I didn't talk to family. I just shut myself inside my house. Now I love this woman completely. I did. She said I pushed her away and I drove her to do this. But what I believe is that no matter how bad things get, you never resort to cheating. I devoted all my time and money to this person, making sure they had what they needed and wanted. I love this person with all my heart. And to know that they did this to me and lied straight to my face about it, I still kind of don't know how to feel. I stopped podcasting. I stopped posting on here. I completely shut down. All in hopes that me and her could get back together. And I thought I fucked up. And no matter, no matter what I said or did, I don't think anything would have changed. She was going to do this from the very beginning, and I believe she did it throughout our relationship. All I wanted was answers, and I had to search for myself to find them because she was not going to give me the answers. Now I know I wasn't crazy. Now I know I was justified in having my suspicions. And if you're watching this, Sam, I hope he was worth it. I hope you do have a good life, but karma has a way of paying people back. I was willing to give you the world, and I, again, hope he was worth it. And Hobo Hero, good luck. You're broken inside, and what has to happen is the internal work needs to be done. You need to start meditating, breathing, reading, sitting alone. If you believe in God, sit alone with God and be lonely. It says in the Bible to be lonely with me, and then eternally you will raise your internal vibration, and you will attract the right type of person, but if you go right into another relationship, you're going to keep attracting the same type of person. That's why many of you get cheated on again and again and again. It's time to heal, warriors. Warriors, rise. Let's go, and I need work too. Father looks over at the mother and says, what's going on here? Mother cries, and before even saying anything, she calls the neighbor. Neighbor comes to the hospital, they do a DNA test. The neighbor's the child's father. This man has been raising this child for eight, for 12 something years, and he's not even the Daddy finds out that the child he's been raising for 12 years well, just found out my wife has been cheating on me because she screamed another man's name during sex. Psst, I don't know what to... Yeah, we're not talking anymore. And who names their kid wrong hole? That's not... Where were we? Johnny. Uh, what are you, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Uh, the girls had a soccer game on a... T no, I want to hear yours. On what? I didn't hear what you said. Oh, like, why you don't think it's, like, the same? Oh, again, because for a guy, he literally can be like, oh, this girl can die the next day and he doesn't care after he has sex with them. Okay, uh, but are you saying, but like you're trying to say that about all girls too. Like, girls all have to have an emotional connection. And like, I didn't they, say have to. I said, generally speaking, they do. Right. But yes. It's genuine, genuinely. Why can't I say that? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's speaking on both sides. Like, no, because if, if it can happen on one side, it can happen on the other. Shit, huh? Yeah. Fuck that shit. Oh, I'm sorry, that shame ass shit. I had a feeling you've been doing shit behind my fucking back. Ain't nobody got to explain shit to you. God, I'm so excited. <laughs> what is it? That, just, you're just going to have to wait. You're going to have to wait. Okay. Do it. Uh, what do I do with the cards? Uh, so you just drop them. Uh, like, all at the same time? Yeah, it's part of the surprise. Okay. No, just one at a time. One, one at a time. Okay, okay. All right. Mm. Uh, now is okay? Yeah. All yeah. Right, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, um, when do I get my surprise? <laughs> uh, right when you finish dropping all the cards. But you got you got to take it slow. That's, all right, all right. that's how it works. Okay. Cards first, surprise later. Sorry, don't have a lot of patience right now. Woo. <sighs> <laughs> uh, so, um. Is it, is it shiny? Uh, no. No, no this, okay. this is definitely not shiny. Oh, darn, okay. Um... I'm leaving you, Kevin. What? You're too nice, Kevin. You're just, you're so boring. I need fun and excitement in my life and you don't give that to me. I don't, I don't understand. I want him. He excites me and, and he makes me feel like a woman. You just bore me. I love you. Well, I don't love you anymore. In fact, 
I'm not sure I ever did. I didn't know it at the time, but I was making the worst mistake of my life. My husband was the most thoughtful man I knew and I took him for granted. I thought I needed more zest in my relationship, so I started dating a new man behind his back. But it ended up being the worst thing I've ever done.